guys welcome back to my channel it's Malik Wajante and today is Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving everyone I hope you have the opportunity to spend it with friend family whoa with family or friends or your special loved ones whoever whoever they may be um yeah I mean Thanksgiving is that time to be thankful and grateful although you should be thankful and grateful all year round let's be honest guys like i think it slips our minds sometimes excuse my computer it's just going crazy but i think sometimes we are forgetful that or let's say we lose track of time and we get so busy and consumed in our own life that we don't say thankful things or thank those around us who make our everyday life easier better whatever the case may be um even for the people who try and knock us down throughout our day to day thank them because those are the people that should be pushing you to be oh so much better but i just want to say i'm so thankful and grateful for all of you um i'm thankful for my family my friends everyone honestly in my life um and we're going to go ahead and get ready with this get ready with me and i hope you have a great holiday all right guys so we're going to start with this hair we need to make sure it's staying moisturized while it is in its protective style so i'm using this jamaican castor oil and rubbing that on my roots as well as down my braids because my hair is in the braids so we want to make sure we get some moisture in there and then i am parting the front end of my hair and i'm just going to do two braids down each side so that the hair is out of my face because that's annoying most of the time and then we're going to put it back into a ponytail in the back of my head so braiding each side down and i'm not really going to braid all the way to the ends because i want the ponytail to be loose with the braid so just getting it to a point where it's not going to unravel before i have a chance to put the hair in a ponytail So I'm going to use this ponytail holder. I found it. It's an old rubber band somewhere and I just tied it together and we are going to put that around the ponytail and do like two to three loops around so it's like staying in a ponytail and it's not just going to fall off my hair. And then we are going to go in and handle these edges with the Eco Styler Black, um, black Castor Oil and Black Seed and we're going to put that on our edges. This is the only, let me tell you, the only Eco Styler that does not flake for me. It doesn't give me that residue. The clear one gives me residue. The green one gives me residue, everything. But this one right here is the only one that just handles my hair with perfection and I love it. So before it dries, it gives you like this white film, I would say, but it's the oil in the gel. So I just use a um, scarf and I go ahead and lay those edges down while I'm doing my makeup or getting dressed or doing whatever else that I need to do to get ready. Um, so I'm going to put this scarf on and let that sit there and we are going to jump into this makeup. Y'all, I finally got my eyebrows done. Honey, it was needed. So I am going in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color number four. And we are going to draw these brows out a little bit. So they are a little thinner, which is perfect. So it gives me room to grow. Um, and then we're just going to arch these eyebrows. If you're looking for how I do my eyebrows, I'll go ahead and link the eyebrow video down below in the description as well as above with that eye. So it should show up. So what I do to one side is what I want to do to the other. When my eyebrows are a little bit thinner, I tend to keep the shading on my brows a little bit thinner as well. Um, and then we just go ahead and slightly do small strokes in the front so it's as natural as possible. I personally don't like the overdrawn eyebrows, not my thing. So we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 30 which is more or less my perfect skin tone, honestly. Um, and it blends to perfection. It's very cheap. Um, I think it's like $7 possibly. So if I'm not using LA Girl Pro Conceal, I'm using this concealer because it's simple, it's easy. It doesn't crease on me. It doesn't do any of that random stuff. Um, so we're gonna use that Beauty Blender 
in the color nude and go ahead and blend in that concealer blend it down um, because I'm going to use an eyeshadow so it's just going to help the eyeshadow that I am going to apply a little bit later we are going in with this Jaclyn Hill palette y'all Y'all, let me tell y'all, I love this palette. Like, love. So we're going in with this lighter brown shade, and we are going to put that on the lids of our eyes just to give an even base to the eyeshadow that we're going with. So we're going to put that all over our lids. And then in the crease, we're going to use this yellow, like, mustard color. Now, what I will say, personal preference, you know, it doesn't show up like I would hope it to show up. Um, so that is the only downfall that I do see with this Jaclyn palette. Um, I think it's more for a fair skin, personally. Um, us melanin girls, you do have to like build, 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 build. And I don't like that, personally. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the palette nonetheless. So I did build it a little bit, but not too much. And then I'm going to add in... I was confused for a second like didn't I see it but here it is it is a orange like red orange shade and it just helps that mustard color that I had just applied so we're gonna put that in a crease and use a fluffy blending brush in the crease of our eyes and just go back and forth so once you look at the shadow you can kind of see that mustard that I had already put on there because that orange and yellow kind of works together and complements each other to perfection once again melanin skin orange yellows all of those are perfect for us and then i'm going to use this pale brown and put that only on my lids so we're going to pack that in and blend up guys it's okay to blend nothing worse than to just have eyeshadow just sitting there so try your best to blend it out Okay. Uh. Jam session. See, this is why you don't listen to makeup or listen to music while you're doing your makeup. You you break out in dance sessions. So let's go ahead and get back to this makeup. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and putting that on a brush. And we're going to go ahead and use these two glitter palettes that are on the Jaclyn palette, which is this dark brown and this gold shade. So I'm going to mix the two, preference of my own, um, and put that right where I put that lighter brown. So the lighter brown gave it a base and then the other glitter is going to just make it pop even more so i'm blending that on my lids now what i will say is i like to go back in with the color that i put in my crease so that it blends evenly and seamlessly so i'm going back in with that orange shade here in a few So we're going to use this orange and blend it in a little bit more so that it doesn't look crazy. That's the biggest thing I can say. I don't want my makeup to look crazy. Then we're using this. So I wanted to try a new primer, and this is the Maybelline Master Prime. Um, it's a Face Studio primer. So it's a white primer, and I don't normally use white primers, but you know, hey, it's okay. Um, so I am liking it so far. I've used it the last couple of times. I think I've used it like two or three times and it has, has worked perfectly. So we may stick with this one. It's not so expensive. I think it was like $6 as well. I got it at Ulta. So it works good to me. And then we're going to use this Fenty Beauty. You know this is my favorite foundation, y'all. My favorite. 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 Um, two pumps and then go ahead and use the bottom of that blender and blend honey just blend make sure it looks as even as possible which is not difficult because it's Fenty because Fenty just blends to perfection Okay, 
So I'm going back in with that Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. Same color that I used underneath my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and use to highlight. So underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and then on my forehead. I haven't really been highlighting like on my cheeks or my cheeks on my chin. It's just, uh, I'm not feeling it right now. So I did go ahead and do these key parts and then I'm using the Beauty Blender and I'm using one side that I normally use and just blending everything out, blending down as possible and blending into my um, hairline so that it looks as seamless and even as possible. Next thing, I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick. This is the color Truffle to go ahead and contour. I'm going to do the bridge of my nose, or not the bridge, but the sides of my nose. And then in the hollows of my cheek. And then I'm going to use a flat top kabuki brush that I got from, I think I got it from AliExpress a while ago. It came in like a 15 pack set, but I love these brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and blend everything in, blend down, blend around just so this as even and seamless as possible because you don't want it to look like you contour it. You just want to get that good old snatched look. Honey. So we're going to go ahead and blend that contour down on the sides. Yes, ma'am. Blend. Blend, blend, blend. So we're going to go ahead and say that I don't know what I was thinking here. Clearly, I was listening to music and was so thrown off that, uh, yeah, I skipped the whole step here. Uh, here it is. Clearly, I need to set this concealer before <laughs> I go ahead and do this blush. So we are using the Revolution Banana Powder, um, which I work at Ulta, so it's easier to go ahead and get it. So. I'm using that and putting it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and then on my forehead, everywhere I conceal, basically, or highlight it, basically, so that it doesn't crack on me or doesn't flake on me or any of that, or crease was the word I was looking for, guys. So we're gonna apply that and then use a fluffy brush and go ahead and get rid of all that excess powder that is on our face. I love this powder. It's not so extensive. It is messy though, so if you are not used to powder, it's a mess. But we're gonna go ahead and go back in with this e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Palette. It's in the dark shade. I've been using this. If you've watched my videos, I've been using the same palette. I love this palette. Um, yeah, I just love it. Then we're gonna go back in with the Fenty Matchstick in the color Rum. This is the highlighter that came in the three pack which I like this highlighter as well. Um, instead of using the matchstick and just applying it to my cheeks, I kind of like to use a brush so that I can get as much coverage as possible. So I'm using that down the bridge of my nose and then on my cheekbones. And honey, just blending. Shine until you shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, it's just keep blending it out, honey. It's okay. I mean, you can have too much, but you can always correct that as well. And then I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Mega Lash Eyeliner in the color Jet Black and just putting that in my waterline. You gotta be so focused. Look at me. Focus. And then I'm gonna use the Rimmel Shake It Fresh Mascara. Which this mascara I found on Clarence. I was like, ooh, this looks fun. Cause you get to shake it and it makes noise. So I got it and I like it. I wish, I need to go actually buy some more. Cause I do like this mascara. Mm -hmm.
did y'all like my video it was so fun I was having so much fun clearly so I'm gonna go ahead and set this face with the Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting spray and then we're gonna use this Tarte lip paint which it dries matte and I actually love it I got it in one of my like ipsy bags like months ago yeah and I forgot I had it so I was like "Ooh, let's do that let's go fall and yes honey look at that face Oh, kill him. Okay, girl, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, feel me but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions definitely leave them below and guess what y'all that's it I'll see you in the next one bye see all the good things face. looking at my past ain't right but I swear you came my way like an angel fell